never misses me Please don't let her When I proposed to Lainey, uh, I was in North Carolina. Uh, that's where I bought her ring. Nobody was expecting it. I remember uh, driving home from North Carolina, I was kind of packing my stuff up from UNC Chapel Hill and moving back to Mobile. So, got home, uh, called the president of Birmingham Southern College. That's where Lainey worked. And the president then was Dr. Neil Birdie. It was an awesome guy. I called his office and was like, hey, can I talk to Dr. Birdie? And I talked to him and was like, hey, can you schedule a meeting with Lainey? And I'm gonna propose to her in your office. I was working at Birmingham Southern College in the admission office. And I got, uh, just my supervisor called me and said, hey, the president of the school wants to meet with you. And I was thinking, well, I know I didn't do anything wrong. Like, why is the president, why would he want to meet with me? In the meantime, Lainey and I are talking on the phone and all week she'd be like, this is so weird. Like, Dr. Birdie wants to meet with me. Like, I have no idea why. And it, it was a big deal. Like, so she was like scared, but also excited because uh, she was getting to meet you know, with Dr. Birdie upon his request, like so random. So I scheduled this meeting all week long. I was going, why am I meeting with him on Friday? This is really weird. You know, what's he gonna wanna talk to me about? And I was so nervous. Then I drove up and I uh, kinda had to park in an inconspicuous place, you know, by Dr. Birdie's office, cause I didn't want Lainey to be like walking across the quad and be like, oh my God, there's, there's Walker's truck or whatever. So I went into the office and then I got legit nervous. Friday came and I went to my meeting in the president's office and walked in and his assistant was sitting there and he said, hey, you know, Dr. Birdie, which was the guy, the president, it was going to be with you in just a second. And I was like, okay. So I just sat there and waited. And so he went in and opened the door to the president's office and said, you know, she's here to see you or whatever. And um, sat back down. He, he said, you can go in now. I was like, all right. So I just went in and opened the office door. And right when I opened the door, you know, the big desk was there and then the, you know, those nice office chairs was turned around and the back was facing me and I was like, that's really weird. I was facing the back window and then when she came in, I spun around like in the chair and then it was this us. She was freaked out and then so I started freaking out even more because she was so freaked out and then... It all just kind of became a blur. Uh, I mean, my heart was racing. I wouldn't say I didn't put it together, but at the same time, I just was so caught off guard. And then I got up and like, I'm pretty sure we were literally shaking. And uh, I sat her down on this little like couch, you know, in the office and just kind of got on my knees. And I think I, re I read her a poem. Yeah, he just read this poem and I wish for the life of me I could remember what it said, but I was so nervous and caught off guard. It just was like a big blur. Well, she didn't say anything for, for a second. She literally was like, eyes wide open. He says, I never even said yes. And he was like, well, will you? <laughs> I was so glad to be surprised. That was like the best part to me.